Melbourne Hall, located in the village of Melbourne in Derbyshire, England, is an historic house with a rich history dating back to the 12th century. The hall is renowned for its beautiful gardens which are some of the oldest surviving examples of formal gardens in England. The site where Melbourne Hall stands was originally associated with the bishops of Carlisle it's believed that the residence existed on the site as early as the 12th century and the bishops of Carlisle used the house as a retreat for their northern diocese. The original house was likely to have been a modest structure compared to what stands today. In the early 17th century, Melbourne Hall came into the possession of Sir John Coke, a prominent statesman who served as Secretary of State to King Charles I. Sir John Coke acquired the estate in 1628 and it was under his ownership that the hall underwent significant changes. The old medieval structure was largely demolished and the new house was constructed in the Jacobean style. The hall saw further renovations in the 18th century under the direction of Thomas Coke, Sir John Coke's descendant. The most notable work from this period was the redesign of the gardens by French landscape architect André Lenort, who also designed the gardens in the Palace of Versailles. Although Lenort's direct involvement is debated, the gardens reflect the formal French style associated with this work. The gardens at Melbourne Hall are famous for their ornamental features, including the raw time bird cage arbour designed by Robert Bakewell one of the most skilled ironsmiths of the time. The gardens also feature formal parterres, yew hedges, statues and water features that have been preserved and maintained over the centuries. During the 19th century, Melbourne Hall was the home of William Lamb, the second Viscount Melbourne, who served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and was a close confidant of Queen Victoria. It is after Viscount Melbourne that the Australian city of Melbourne was named. He was to separate from his wife, Lady Caroline Lamb, in 1825 when a liaison with Lord Byron had become notorious. The house passed into the hands of the Cowper family when Emily Lamb, sister of the childless third and last Viscount Melbourne, married the fifth Earl Cowper. She later married another Prime Minister, Lord Palmerston. Mm -hmm. 
After the death of the sixth Earl, it was leased for 20 years to Colonel and Mrs. Henry Gooch, who modernised the house and restored the church. However, it remained in the ownership of the Cowper family until Lady Annabel Cowper married Admiral of the Fleet, Lord Walter Kerr, who made Melbourne a family home in 1906. In the 20th century, the hall remains the family home of Lord and Lady Ralph Kerr, and the house and gardens are open to the public during the summer months. Melbourne Hall is a blend of architectural styles reflecting the various phases of construction and renovation it has undergone over the centuries. The current building is predominantly from the 17th century with later additions and modifications. The interiors of the hall feature period furniture, family portraits and other historical artefacts that offer a glimpse into the life of the aristocracy over the centuries. Today, Melbourne Hall is a Grade II listed building recognised for its historical and architectural significance. The gardens are also listed as Grade I on the Register of Historic Parks and Gardens. The hall continues to be an important part of England's heritage, reflecting the rich history of the country and the evolution of the English country houses. <laughs>